In this video, I want to talk about shadowing. You can go about this a number of ways. You can ask your doctors when you're there for a visit. You can ask family friends who are MDs or DOs. Uh, you can call the manager of a clinic and ask if it's okay if you shadow some of the doctors that work there. One thing that I found helpful was asking the doctor that I was currently shadowing if they would recommend any other doctors for me to shadow, like in a different specialty. I did this a couple times and it worked really well. Usually they'd have one or two friends that they'd tell me about and then uh, I'd say, yeah, yeah, I'd like to shadow them if that's okay. And then it worked out really well because they would let their friend know ahead of time, hey, this guy's gonna be contacting you to shadow you. And so by the time I email, call or text, the other doctor knew who I was already. Probably more than 24, but anywhere around there is good. There aren't any set types of doctors you should shadow, but it should be varied. You want to show the admissions committee that you've seen several different fields of medicine. I knew I was going to be applying to a couple schools that really stressed primary care, so I shadowed a rural family practice doctor. I drove 45 minutes out of town to this dinky little farm town, and I had a great time with a slower paced, laid back clinical environment. I did this to see if I could work the same kind of career that this physician was working and be happy with it. Uh, and also it was great material to write on my application. Seeing the contrasting styles between the city and small town was really interesting and something that I wrote about on my application. When the doctor was seeing patients, I was usually really quiet. Not because I'm a quiet person really, but because I didn't want to interfere with what the doctor was doing or say something stupid. When I did talk, it was really just asking, you know, like what type of instrument or what, what the doctor was using on the patient or what type of medication was being prescribed or something like that. I'm not saying you have to be like this exactly, but some doctors really get annoyed when you talk too much when you guys are around patients. When I wasn't around patients, I talked a lot with the doctor. I've been in medical school for two years now, and it's interesting how often I think back on the shadowing experiences while in undergrad. I feel like I actually learned a lot doing that. Uh, it's helped me in class and then also in my clinicals. I know it can get difficult not getting caught up in the emotions of self-doubt and desperation when applying to medical school, but try to enjoy it because this step will be over soon and you'll be on to the next step. You'll be in med school someday. So good luck and thanks for watching.